political and religious news, supernatural happenings, unexplained mysteries, conspiracy theories, and special guests along with your calls right here on The Edge Radio Broadcast with your host, Daniel Ott. And welcome back to The Edge Broadcast. Uh, thank everyone so much for logging on to the program. Don't forget, uh, next week we're going to be having uh, Michael Boldia followed by Nathan Beal and Grady McMurtry following that and Dr. John Turner all the way from the island of Hawaii uh, on uh, April 25th. If we haven't had a guest you'd like to hear on the program, go to the edgeam.com website. Click on the drop-down link where you can suggest a guest. You can also take the Edge poll. The Edge poll on the left side of the website. You just uh, refresh your browser and uh, different questions will come up. And if you have a question and you have some answers to go along with that question, submit them to the Edge and you will have your question posted as an Edge poll question. As I said earlier, don't forget about the EdgeTube.net, an amazing piece of technology. Who needs YouTube? Uh, who needs to see somebody eat a thousand pieces of uh, carpet or uh, put rubber bands around their head or all kinds of crazy stuff on YouTube when you've got EdgeTube.net where people of like mind and questioning would like to discover the truth with us as we travel down life's path to discover what things are all about. The central, central location for videos, uh, intelligent videos, searching, probing videos. You won't find any, uh, any uh, trained monkeys or, uh, or uh, porno or anything else in the edge too, but you'll find scientific data, you'll find mysteries, conspiracy theories, those types of things that you enjoy so much by watching the edge program. Now let's go back to our newsmaker line and welcome back to our program, Freeman Fly. Freeman, welcome back. Thank you. Well, it was amazing, uh, uh, amazing uh, first hour there. Uh, you, you said so many things, and of course, we, we knew we were going to be jumping around a bit, and because you just have so much information to bring to the program, and of course, I see in our live chat somebody says, "Daniel, get this guy as a regular." And Freeman, yeah, you, yeah, you took a kind of a long break there. We need to have you back regular on this program because your search for truth is is in perfect harmony and synchronicity with that of the edge. Well, I would love to do that, Daniel. <laughs> and by the right. way, according to Ranking.com, we are still we're still number one out there. We have, uh, on average, five million hits per month on our website. Over six thousand other websites currently linked to the Edge, and we have over two point eight million viewed hours of our television broadcast. So we're moving moving right along the little edge that could, as we like to say. Uh, we've got some uh, little notes here that uh, we took pre-show, and I want to get to those. Uh, talking about, we'll open up the broadcast the second hour here. Talking about uh, sort of uh, uh, a, a fight sort uh, of sorts going on. We have uh, Alan Watt fighting with David Icke. We have Alex Jones fighting with Jeff Rents. We've got Michael Desarian fighting with. Um, see who is that guy, Jamie? Who's he fighting with? <laughs> that that other guy, Freeman, the Cannibal Supreme. <laughs> <laughs> a lot, a lot of fighting going on. What, what, and then of course we have the AIG bailout and 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 the and and the. Uh, the bonus is that America is very hostile right now, very what angry. What does it mean, Daniel? What, what does it all mean? What does it mean, Freeman? Oof. What yes, does it I, mean? I, well, I knew there would come a time when our emotions would no longer be our own. And they are now working with frequency technologies such as HARP and others that are able to manipulate our very emotional state. And so right now, we can't even determine our own state of being. Uh, plus, you add to this, of course, all the pharmacological madness that's going on, the, yes. the children under five on Ridland. You that's know. Just, that's uh, just what I was going to say. I just yeah. wondered about that. I mean, absolutely. Uh, Go ahead. They are setting us up. They are totally setting us up to be angry. Mm -hmm. the, this is the same play that they would use, the same play they used to, to spur the French Revolution, the same play they used to spur the American Revolution, and by they, I mean the Freemasons. Uh, coupled with the Jesuits, you know, mm -hmm. this is where all of the infighting is coming, with, yep. uh, coming from, is because some people are following, say, like me, the Freemasons, or some are following the Jesuits, some mm -hmm. are following uh, mm -hmm. just you know, politics mm -hmm. in general, and then right. we start to fight over who's right about who the enemy is, mm -hmm. <laughs> which yeah. may, that is the enemy, you yeah. know, is fighting. Uh -huh. uh, but, but the question would be, uh, Freeman, how could our, the people that have uh, went to college and they know all this stuff about the drugs out there and what's going to help us, how could they possibly lie to us or lead us down a road that would just be to our destruction? I mean, yeah. You know, there is a problem. I have a problem. I, you know, my doctor is helping me. I'm on this drug, but it's not working, so he's got me on this other drug. I mean, where does, where does it stop? What can we do? 
Well, it, we must realize that they're out to make us angry at this point. And I really began my whole awakening process with watching the, the road to World War III. And so back when Bill Clinton was being brought out about the Monica Lewinsky scandal, I was saying, okay, wait a minute, this is psychological warfare. This is, uh, you know, how many presidents have had affairs? But do All they bring them. you out on national television and make you turn purple in front of the public? No. This was, this was the art of psychological warfare, to defeat your hearts. And so as I saw this going on, I said, okay, well, what's the next step? And, of course, the very next step is to force a man into office so that you lose all faith in the system. And so what happened was W was railroaded into office. And I was able to predict W because of the Kabbalistic meaning of that letter, which is the number of the fallen angels, 66, which mm -hmm. transliterates in Hebrew to W. Uh, so... I was following this game plan and correlating it with occult uh, secrets. And so after W was railroaded into office, I said, okay, he is the last American president. Now, I didn't know that I would have to take this so literally, but once you realize that Barack Obama has been twice unconstitutional. Now, first, being elected was uh, very unconstitutional because he's unwilling to prove his natural-born status. And most people believe that he wasn't born in America, but Indonesia, and, uh, or in Kenya, I'm sorry, in Kenya, and that then raised in Indonesia, and at that time was unable to be a citizen of Indonesia without, you know, he could not be an American citizen. Uh, so I was correct on that he was not an American president. And so this is all psychological warfare. The second time he was unconstitutional is when he flubbed the uh, inaugural address. And that uh, he uh, then went and took it behind closed doors with, uh, from what I hear, a Freemason in, in office, with, and he forgot his Bible. Uh, right. Very curious thing for him to note. You know, right. he came out and said, yeah, I forgot my Bible, but the oath still stands. Well, who knows what they said behind those closed doors. Supposedly it was broadcast over the media somewhere, but uh, I've never heard uh, the oath said. So here he is, twice unconstitutional, and this will be used to anger the public. They're going to bring this out more and more into the, into the limelight. They're letting us think that we've got it right. Okay, so very similar in effect was when they forced W into office and they said it was through Jeb Bush. So you're supposed to know this. You were supposed to be angry about that. It wasn't Bush mm -hmm. that put the W in office. It was the secret societies. Oh boy. The psychological warfare is there to make you angry. Mm -hmm. And so we are being led to this path of World War III. So they want us to revolt here in America. And so now they've got the AIG bailouts, and they're just taking all the bonuses, and they're telling you about it, and they want you to be angry about it. Or Octomom, you know, the mother who had all of the fertility uh, things and ended up with eight babies. This is supposed to make you angry because they want you to only have one child, like the Chinese okay. program. Mm -hmm. uh, so you can see things start to see them as psychological warfare instead of actual events. Hmm. Uh, wow. Uh, so uh, is this going to escalate into a civil war? It's going to be a holy war. Uh, you're going to see that, okay, on, an, on another level. Uh, and now, what you do is you go and if you go to freemantv.com and check it out, I have uh, 